The city of Spokane wants everyone out of the Ridpath Hotel. Earlier today, it announced that it has plans to put up concrete barriers to keep people out. KXLY 4's Aaron Luna joins us live tonight in downtown Spokane. Aaron, why is the city closing the building? Kali, the city says that they don't have proof that the fire suppression system is working. Until then, they say the building is unsafe and everyone needs to get out. The only business that was left in the building was Diamond Parking, and they vacated earlier today. Now, an owner's representative put up this chain link fence in order to say he doesn't want the concrete there because it'll keep workers out of the building. In the ongoing saga of the Ridpath Hotel, these chains represent another obstacle on the road to rebuilding for prospective owner Steve Antonetti. Trying to stop anyone from getting caught in the building and uh, at least get some st stability for our trucks to get in and out for the next week to finish it. Enforcing an order to vacate the building, the city says it won't just put up figurative barriers. They plan on putting actual concrete in front of the parking garage to keep everyone out. The reason, it says, is a fire suppression system that hasn't been fully tested, making the building unsafe. Now I'm going to wait till I fix the next thing that I was going to do, change some sprinkler heads, and then retest it again. But here we got to find the money for the retest. Antonetti is part of a group hoping to bring the old hotel back to life, but says with many parts of the building owned by many different people, including banks, it's hard to get everyone on the same page. Until then, Diamond Parking, the only tenant in the building, has to close down. We have a plan for tomorrow. We have a plan for this week. If the city gives us the permit for the sprinklers, the sprinklers are going to go in this week. But getting dozens of owners to pitch in can be tricky. It takes so long to get everybody to pay. And no one will work on these buildings unless they're paid in full. Antonetti is waiting for the bank to close on certain owners so he can buy enough space to open 100 rooms to the hotel, but admits if that doesn't happen in June, he may rethink. If we run into very many more problems, I may have to walk away from the project. Locking out an opening goal of 15 months. Construction workers will still be allowed inside the building during the no occupy enforcement. Diamond parking is expected to move back in within a couple weeks. Reporting live downtown, Aaron Luna, KXLY4, HD News.